on Saturday, mourners attended the burial for the victims of Friday's suicide attack. Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the suicide blast, saying it targeted government officials and members of the national intelligence. The evening blast targeted Gelato Devino, a popular ice cream shop along the Mogadishu Airport Road, a secure area linking the city and Aden Abdullah, the country's biggest international airport. The restaurant and ice cream shop is quite popular among the youth. We pray for the departed souls. Those who lost their lives were outside the ice cream shop. We pray for their departed souls. But this is a clear testament of a group that has been defeated and using suicide bombers to inflict damage and fear. The blast is the second this month. On 17th November, five people were killed after a suicide bomber detonated explosives in a restaurant near the General Kahir Police Academy. Somali leaders have condemned the attack, vowing to punish the perpetrators. Al-Shabaab has been consistently targeting civilians, vulnerable people, uh, businesses, uh, and we, we are working day and night in memory of those who have gone uh, uh, as a result of Al-Shabaab's heartless attacks. Uh, to protect our people from terrorist attacks. Critics blame Somali leaders for prioritizing politics over security ahead of the upcoming elections. Militant group Al-Shabaab has been known to increase attacks during polls. Elections for members of parliament and senators are expected to start next month followed by a presidential vote in February 2021. Security will likely be the focus of attention during the campaign period that has formally kicked off. Militant group Al-Shabaab has vowed to target those involved in the process. In the past, it has targeted and assassinated clan elders and electoral delegates. It has also abducted and released others with assurance that they won't partake in the process. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.